ayubowan wanakkam assalamu alaikum and good morning her excellency saroja sirisena high commissioner of sri lanka in the uk my dear colleagues it is my great pleasure to welcome you this morning to the 73rd independence day celebrations of sri lanka we regret our inability to invite the compatriot community of sri lanka in the uk to join us on this occasion due to the covid-19 pandemic related restrictions commencing today's proceedings i kindly request her excellency saroja sirisena high commissioner of sri lanka in the uk to hoist the national flag <laughs> Let's all stand for the national anthem of Sri Lanka sung by Commodore Damian Fernando of the Sri Lanka Navy. Sri Lanka mata apa sri Lanka namo 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 mata sundar sri bareni surate ati sapo siri seta sadana jivana re mata divanya mata bhakti puja namo namo mata apa sri for multi faith religious observances Firstly we will listen to a sermon and message invoking blessings on Sri Lanka and its people by the chief incumbent of the London Buddhist Vihara and the chief sangha nayaka of Great Britain venerable Bogoda Sila Vimala Nayaka Thero London Bauddha Vihara Sthani Sita Mame Panivide Gene Nulabani Lankave Hatta Tungweni Jatika Dine Venuven Mesandaha Aradhanakar Londoni Brita Sri Lanka Mahakumasara Sumita Vagema Nyoja Mahakumasara Stumata De Mage Kutajnatave Piranamana Me Jatika Dinehi Aparati Nidahasa Pata ඒත් අතීතයේ මෙන්ම මෑතදී ද දිවි පිදු ජාතික වීරවරයන්ට අපගේ ගෞරවය හා කෘතවේදී භාවය හිසනමා පිරිනමමු 
विशेषम वात्मन गोली आर्बुदय ओ मे कोरोना वायरस हमुए अप श्रीलंका वासीन मून पान गैटलु मैनेविंग तेरुंग अरगेन एकावन में इट मून दिए तो अवस्था व एलबी तिबे अब योग हमुए पराजय वो होत मुलुमा जातिये में राज्य में आपस से ठहरने नहीं सके इबे विंग राज्यात विपक्षात एक व एकाबद्ध व क्रियाकुलियों तो अवस्था व क्लेश में अवस्था व सीपात क्रीम में टक्के में थी जहाँ तीन आतेर सामग्री राठी दिनों वट हेतु वन प्रबल कारण की इबे विंग आगम बेद जाति बेद दुरला एकम श्रीलंका मावगे दूधरवान विलस सौभाग्य मात्रातक सामकामी समाजक उदेशा अपिसिल देराम नगी सिटी युतुई में में व्यसन कारी भयानक कोरोना विंग अपे मुलु महाजनता वनिदास कर गनी मटर उब सहमत देना टा चिंता भी हाँ क्रिया क्यों नहीं में पुनर्जीवक ऐतिहासिक प्रार्थना करनी जनादिपति तुम्हां आग्रामाते तुम्हां विपक्षनायक तुम्हां ऐतुलसीलु जननायक इंटा सीलु श्रीलंका वासी गिहि पैविदी सहमत देना तमात त्रिविद्रत्ने आशीर्वादे लेबे वाय प्रार्थना करनी में गाता सजाएने करनो भवतु सब मंगलम रखांतु सब देवता सब बुद्धानु भावेन सदा सोति बावंतु ते भवतु सब मंगलम रखांतु सब देवता सब दमानु भावेन सदा सोति बावंतु ते भवतु सब मंगलम रखांतु सब देवता सब संगानु भावेन सदा सोति बावंतु ते Next, let's listen to the message in Walking Blessings on Sri Lanka and its people by His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, the Archbishop of Colombo. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, first of all I wish to uh, send you my greetings from Sri Lanka as you are gathered together as a community of Sri Lankans living in England uh, to celebrate, to pray for our country and to celebrate its 73rd independence. When we call it independence, what is independence really? Or freedom, what is freedom? Freedom is not the capacity we have to do whatever we want. True freedom is the capacity each one of us enjoys in order to do the right thing always. If we have a greater capacity to do the right thing, then we enjoy greater freedom. But unfortunately, in our country, after 73 years of post-independent history, we find that Sri Lanka itself is going through a severe crisis. We know that uh, still we have become slavish to all kinds of individual passions and individual desires that have crystallized into divisions within our country. Still, our people are divided. Though we are one island, we are several islands within that island. Either because of our race or because of our religion or because of our language, we are divided. We are not united. Freedom, as I said earlier, is the capacity we have to do what is right. Since we coexist with our fellow human beings, sharing the same planet, the same air, the same water, since we share the same time and the same era, we have to be conscious that we are not alone. We are with many other people, millions of them in fact. Therefore, whatever we do has an impact on all the others. That is why there is a responsibility on our part 
to be conscious of the presence of the others and therefore to limit ourselves in order to ensure that the others do not suffer because of us. This is the purpose of true freedom. And I hope and pray that all Sri Lankans will understand that they must not think only in these little isolated islands, place themselves in these islands and divide themselves from the others and then start thinking only about their rights, their dignity, their status in society. But think about all the others and seek friendship, fraternity and integration with the others. It is only then that we can truly give freedom to our country. I pray that the Lord will bless our country with true peace and harmony, true fraternity among our peoples. Let us work towards that and let us pray that the Lord will help us to achieve that kind of freedom, not uh, in the late eras, but in the near future, so that we will unite with one another in a firm bond of friendship, fraternity and progress. Let us pray for this intention and I wish you all God's blessings. May God bless you. Next, let's listen to the prayers and message invoking blessings by Lakshmikant Jagadish Kurukkal of the Skanda Temple in Panadura. <laughs>
we will listen to the message invoking blessings on our motherland by Sheikh Salman Siddiq from Sri Lankan Muslim Cultural Center in Harrow. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon you all. I begin by praising the Almighty Lord of the heavens and earth and his messenger Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I hope and pray that everyone watching this is safe and well. It is an honor for me to be a part of this day where Sri Lankans from around the world gather and unite to celebrate the 73rd anniversary of the independence of Sri Lanka. In normal circumstances, today would be a day of celebration and gathering followed by a series of cultural events. And it will be a day that calls for unity, a day that will, that will call for peace. As Almighty Lord says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu inna akramakum indallahi atqakum inna allaha alimun khabir Almighty Lord says, O mankind, we have created you and we have scattered and separated you in different parts of this world so that you find each other and create unity and create peace. Unfortunately, we are in unprecedented times. As we all know, COVID-19 pandemic has affected our lives drastically. I sincerely thank the religious dignitaries for their valuable words of wisdom and for invoking blessings on us and our motherland. The path to Sri Lanka's independence was not an easy task. There were many who made the ultimate sacrifice along the journey. Now let's all stand to observe two minute silence in honor of all those who sacrificed their lives in defense of our motherland. Now, may I invite Minister Councillor Defense Brigadier Swarna Bhotota to read out the Independence Day message of His Excellency Gotabe Rajapaksha, the President of Sri Lanka in Singhala. Apagi Ramani Divine Jivatvana, Sielu Tharuna Du Darwan Hatta, Gauravana Ilyasa Jivatvi Aki Pariti, Shaktimat, Sitasar, Artikyak, Bhikala Yutia. Samata, Tamange Dakshitavan, Uparimapala Nilagar and Hakivana, Rakiavak, Tibia Yutia. Apagi Vagakima, Truptima Tratavasik, Saturin Jivatan Paulak, Saha, Gunakarko Samajak, Bihikiri Maya Lopura Siduin Pautina, Parsirika, Vinashe Pratipal Lesser, Niangain Ha Gangaturin, Ekavita Batakana, Jatiak Bavata, Upper Patriati Bavin, Mesundra Divine, Yalit Haritavarin Babalan, Anagata Loki Tirasar Sangwardani, Parma Dashe Bata Patkiri Me Vagakima, the Upta Pavariti Bay. May Bumia Mata, Same Nemeti Bija, Yali Pala Nonu Atai, Situ Yugaker, Upper E Same Nemeti Pale, Mem Bumia Mata, Ropa Nekalemi, Eparit Denma, Saubagevat, Sundara, Sri Lankavak, Upper Melak Bumi to Yali, Ropa Nekara, Obatapirinama Nimu, Gota Biraj Paksha, Sri Lanka Pachantrika Samaja, the General J. Janadipati. I invite the Deputy High Commissioner, Mr. Samantha Patirana, to read out the Independence Day message of Honorable Mahinda Rajapaksha, Prime Minister of Sri Lanka in Tamil. Over Turelum, Muneduka Padavandia, Sir Tilutan Kalei Purendu Kondu, Makalidam Munwei Kapat, Supit Sati Noku, Kolhei Titati Nudaha, Sudandira Melum, Arta Mulatahum Podu Valamana Edir Kalam, 
సుపీట్ సమాన తాయి నాడు ఎన్పది యథార్థమాహు వెరలారు ములువదుం తాయి నాటిట్కు ఎదిరాన ఉల్లూర్ మెట్రుం వెలినాటు శక్తి హలయుం భయంకరవాదత్తయుం తోట్కడిక్కుం ఒరు నిలయ్యాన కొల్ కైల్ నామ్ సేర్పట్టోం ఎత్తనే సవాల్హల్ వందాలు నాంగల్ ఒరు పోదుం నమ్ తాయి నాటి కాటి కొడుతు తిల్లై కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ తట్పోదు ఉలహం ఎదుర్కొండుల్ల మిహ పెరియ సవాలాహు ఇన్నెరు కడీలిరుందు పొదుమక్కలే విడువిప్పదట్కాన పోరాటత్తై నాంగల్ మున్నెడుతు వరుహిండ్రో ఎదిర్ పడైతే హలై తోట్ కడిట్టదు పోన్రే కోవిడ్ నైన్టీ తొట్టే తోట్ కడిపదట్కుం ఇలంగై తేసమాహ నాంగల్ ఎలుందు నిట్పోం ఎంగల్ తాయి నాటిని పిరాంద్య ఒరుమై పాడు మట్రుం ఇరయ్యాన్ మెయ్కాహ తంగల్ ఉయిరై త్యాహం చేయ్ మట్రుం మహత్తాన త్యాహంగలై చేయ్ అనేవరుకుం మట్రుం ఇండు అంద సవాల్హలుకు మత్తీల్ అర్పణిప్పుడన్ సేట్పడుం అనేవరుకుం నాన్ మర్యాదై సెలుతుహిండ్రేన్ మహింద రాజపక్ష ఇలంగై సననాహ సోషలిస కుడియరసిన్ పిరతమర్ నవ్ ఐ ఇన్వైట్ మినిస్టర్ కమర్షియల్ డాక్టర్ లక్ష్మిణి మెండిస్ టు రీడ్ అవుట్ ది ఇండిపెండెన్స్ డే మెసేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆనరబుల్ దినేష్ గుణవర్ధన ఫారిన్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీలంక ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ లెట్ అస్ బి కమిటెడ్ టు ఓవర్కమ్ ఛాలెంజెస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ ప్లెజర్ ఫార్ మీ టు బి ఏబుల్ టు కంగ్రాచులేట్ ఆల్ ఇన్ శ్రీలంక అండ్ ద శ్రీలంకన్స్ అరౌండ్ ద వరల్డ్ on the occasion of the 73rd anniversary of the gaining independence to Sri Lanka. We celebrate with pride the activities of our past national heroes and war heroes for the freedom, independence and sovereignty of the country as a great and proud nation in the world and as a nation against the social, economic and political oppression due to colonization of the country for 450 years by the Western foreign invasions. We recall with reverence their commitment and determination to liberate our motherland by working unitedly as Sri Lankans without any discrimination in liberating Sri Lanka from the Portuguese, Dutch and English. Today marks the 73rd anniversary of the independence gain on 4th February 1948, which we commemorate with great pride. The independence we gained on 4th February 1948 and the declaration of Sri Lanka as a republic on 22nd May 1972 have enabled us to be completely free from the British rule. Let us also remember that day that today we all pledge to make Sri Lanka's president his excellency Gotabe Rajapaksha's vision with stars of prosperity and splendors reality and to build a free, independent, sovereign and prosperous Sri Lanka after 73 years of overcoming various challenges. We must also keep in mind the challenges that have arisen nationally and internationally against the sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity of this country. We are determined to make Sri Lanka a prosperous country, maintaining friendly relations with the nations of the world after defeating 30 years of separatism and brutal terrorism. Meanwhile, we and the whole world are facing an unpredicted global pandemic today. We can overcome the COVID-19 pandemic that is plaguing the world as well. It is the responsibility of all of us to support the government's program to defeat this pandemic which is based on the world's advanced technology and the local traditional experience. With the independence we have gained, we will continue to advance as an independent, sovereign, democratic and unitary state, maintaining Sri Lanka's dignity, pride and identity while maintaining friendly cooperation with all states, prioritizing the neutral and non-aligned foreign policy. Dinesh Gunawadana, Foreign Minister, Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. 
May I invite Her Excellency Saroja Sirisena, High Commissioner of Sri Lanka in the UK, to address you. Most Venerable Mahasangha, clergy of the Hindu, Christian, and Islamic faiths, fellow Sri Lankans, dear colleagues and friends, Ayubovan, Vanakam, Salam Alaikum, and good morning. On this solemn occasion of the 73rd anniversary of independence, I wish to pay homage to those who fought to gain independence for our beloved motherland, and to those thousands who subsequently made the ultimate sacrifice to safeguard our independence. I take this opportunity to convey my sincere condolences to all those who lost their loved ones to the COVID-19 pandemic. Several Sri Lankan health professionals at the forefront of treating COVID-19 patients in the United Kingdom, including Dr. Anton Sebastian Pillay and Dr. Malinda Disanayake, passed away as a result of contracting COVID-19 in the course of their work. We remember them and acknowledge them with appreciation for their selflessness. Our nation's journey since the 4th of February 1948 has been mixed with achievements to rejoice, as well as challenges fraught with pain and anguish. Sri Lanka as a nation can be proud of its achievements made in important areas such as health and education, as well as the talented human capital of the country, which is its most valuable asset. With the traumatic past of the terrorist conflict behind us, it is the duty of us all Sri Lankans to endeavor to work together, shedding differences to create a better future for generations to come and to compensate for lost opportunities. As outlined by His Excellency Gotabe Rajpaksha, President of Sri Lanka, in his national policy framework, Vistas of Prosperity and Splendor, we must endeavor to create a new Sri Lanka where reconciliation and sustainable peace would reign alongside economic prosperity. As a resilient nation, we have what it takes to overcome any challenge and we have proven it throughout our history. I urge British Sri Lankans to come forward, embracing diversity, to join hands, to work for the betterment of the lives of Sri Lankans back home, and to actively take part in Sri Lanka's journey towards progress and prosperity in a manner that is mutually beneficial and mutually rewarding. I appreciate the positive response we received from British Sri Lankans in our, to our request to open special deposit accounts to contribute to the strengthening of the Sri Lankan economy during this hour of need. It is with immense pride that I extend my heartiest congratulations to the six British Sri Lankans who have been awarded New Year's honours by Her Majesty the Queen this year. I also wish, wish to acknowledge Dr. Maheshi Ramasamy, who has contributed to the development of the COVID-19 vaccine, and Dr. Gihan Hetiarachi, who is at the forefront of treating COVID-19 patients for their tremendous contribution to the community as global Sri Lankans. I thank you. Thank you, Madam. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now watch a video produced by the Foreign Ministry of Sri Lanka marking the 73rd anniversary of Sri Lanka's independence. Palm-fringed beaches, misty mountains, tea plantations, centuries-old monuments, rare sightings, spectacular culture, incredible food, color and excitement, enchantment and bliss, and a warm welcome from our hearts. Sri Lanka is a land blessed in every way, and for centuries it has been a traveler's dream destination. As Marco Polo once said, Ceylon, for its actual size, is better circumstanced than any other island in the world. A place for unforgettable moments and wonderful memories. An island nestled in the southern waters of the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka is surrounded by sun-kissed beaches, miles of coastline offering private secluded beaches, surf hubs, whale watching, deep sea diving, seafront resorts and restaurants and so much more. 
Within hours of those beaches stand cool, misty mountains. Breathtaking landscapes that are home to abundant tea plantations that have flourished for two centuries, sharing their wondrous Ceylon tea with the world. For the cultural enthusiast, over 2,500 years of Sri Lankan history and the vision of its mighty kings can be traced via colossal monuments, incredible architecture and advanced engineering feats. The archaeological trail includes six UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The temperate climate teems with endemic life and well-protected habitats. Sri Lanka, in fact, has the highest concentration of endemic species in the world. Wildlife Park offer guided tours with frequent sightings of rare leopards, elephants, sloth bears and more. A land with a deeply spiritual past, Sri Lanka is the ultimate wellness experience. From its monasteries and meditation centers to its traditional healing practices known as Hela Vedakama and Ayurvedic practitioners, the modern spas and retreats, its focus on simple living and smorgasbord of clean vegan food. Sri Lanka is the perfect hideaway to renew your spirit and awaken your senses. Sri Lankan food is a unique experience that reflects the diversity of its people, with religion proclivities and the absorption of influences from the many settlers over time. The exotic and delicious cuisine is highlighted by the magical use of the herbs and spices that grew on its soil. The growing popularity of Sri Lankan food can be understood in all its exhilarating glory on the streets, in the homes, on the beaches and in any dining setting anywhere on the island. Sri Lanka's 21 million inhabitants represent a diversity of culture, religions and languages each celebrating their own rituals and heritage while respecting and sharing the richness of the others. Peaceful and considerate coexistence has been a hallmark of its people. But for three decades, Sri Lanka was held back in its march towards peace and prosperity by an internal conflict which was ended in 2009. The country has made steady advances over the past 12 years, slowly rebuilding and restoring trust. Sri Lanka has been driving reconciliation and unification at the very grassroots. And today, the northern peninsula, for so long the site of conflict and destruction, has emerged as a safe and modern region that delivers hope and prosperity to its people. Peace has uplifted Sri Lanka to embrace its true potential. It is a growing hub in South Asia with extraordinary prospects. Its strategic location on the maritime route that connects the east with the west and the natural riches within the island have always given Sri Lanka a significance far beyond its size. Historically having attracted the attentions of the Dutch and the Portuguese from the 16th to the 18th centuries, Ceylon, as it was then known, was last held by the British Empire until the Declaration of Independence in 1948. Today, Sri Lanka is a bustling commercial and logistics centre and a vital cog in the flow of trade between the two hemispheres. Cosmopolitan Sri Lanka, with its capable and educated human resources, modern infrastructure, technological prowess, quality of life and connectivity has attracted growing interest from global players. The state recognizes foreign direct investment as strategically important to the country's ambitions and its vision for people-centric economic development. Frameworks are in place to promote and facilitate greater investment, particularly in infrastructure, IT, tourism, food processing and manufacturing. Sri Lanka's true potential has long been a well-kept secret. Famed as it has been for its beaches and tea, its cricket and its spices and sapphires, there's much more to this paradise isle. Come see for yourselves. The time is right. Visit. Invest. Sri Lanka is ready. Next is a dance performance by Channo Puli Troop, portraying a glimpse of Sri Lankan culture. We thank the Channa Upali Performing Arts Foundation for preparing this special dance performance for this occasion.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our Independence Day program for this morning. Thank you very much for joining us in the celebrations. Our history isn't in the past. Our heritage isn't our better times. Our culture isn't done being defined. It's in the air. It's in the earth. It's in the waters. As it has been for thousands of years. As it still is this morning. Sri Lanka isn't a place. It's a marvel. A brave new world that wasn't made by the rules. She's a rebel of nature. She's a blessing of imagination. Of untold innovation and resilience. Let's tell the story of Sri Lanka with the same courage this island was born of. It's in how we love, how we believe, how we protect, how we share, how we feast, and how we heal. As we dismiss strangers by making them friends. Because that stuff of stars that is beneath our feet, the brilliance that makes the monsoon waltz around lush hills, and save itself to soothe scorched plains. The wonder that makes the salty seas nurture jungles of pure paradise. And the wild beauty that stays fierce and vibrant even as time tries to quieten it is in us. And now it's time to show the world Sri Lanka as it has always been but never been realized before.